Well, hello guys and welcome back to Pick a Card with Odin. So we are going to do three decks. Remember, cards is cards. You want to take us to entertainment, you're not going to hurt all feelings. Um, we're going to do three decks. So we're going to do Tarot Familiars for your first deck. We are going to do... I'm dropping everything like a genius. We're going to do Everyday Witch for your second deck. And we're going to do Crystal Angels for your third deck. Um, we usually do one card from the top, one card from the bottom, more or less, as the god or goddess says. Um, take this or any other reading you get online with a grain of salt. Let me get my stuff sorted out here. Just so. Okay, so let's go. We're going to start with the Terra Familiars. We're going to go for the top and the bottom. So how are you guys doing? Uh, we are getting Seven of Swords. So we have been getting a lot of Swords energy. So Odin saw me sit here and mix this deck. Very good. I'm going to say since they are asking me to start giving you guys interpretations, I am getting stuff from the gods. This is not to spook anybody to start getting ready, to start preparing for stuff. A lot of other people are getting like it's a time to gather skills or knowledge to teach or to be taught or to ideally do both. I am going to say that this is very much that kind of energy, like stock up your knowledge now, stock up your lore now, that's as much, you know, it's just as good to fill your head as to fill your belly or to fill your stock shelves or whatever, if we have some preppers out there, you do have to have some skills. And, you know, if you're in the prepper community, a lot of those people are saying, hey, you know, let's shift gears. We all got all the stuff we need. Let's start picking up skills that you might need. So are there any magical or mundane skills or knowledge you can share? Is there any that you need? You don't have to be an expert to teach. You know, you can teach what you know. Teach as you're going along. A lot of people make YouTube channels out of that. I got mm -hmm, back here. Loki's overwatching. So we've got the Eight of Swords on the bottom. I swear to the gods, I missed the. Yeah, I mixed these. Yeah, I missed these. Um. So yeah, I am definitely getting. I'm getting um a strong lunar energy off of that too. Um, the moon is thought to control tides, so maybe emotions. Is there something emotional you have to be doing? But I'm getting head shake back there. Okay, prepare, prep prep that is what i'm getting don't panic don't go crazy but just prep um you know how it is um it's back to school right now and then the first cold everybody spooks right and you can't get cold meds you can't get over-the-counter stuff you can't get whatever if you have the money prep if you can only prep one can at a time one cold med at a time that's fine. At least you'll have it when you need it. Do not hoard. Do not hoard. Do not use, you know, stock so much you can never possibly use it. But go ahead and prep. And prep in knowledge. I'm getting. Prep in knowledge. Prep in lore. Every lore of just about every pantheon is out there for free. Right on YouTube. Somewhere on the internet. There are groups that work with them that you can study it for free. There are, the gods forgive me, there are reddits if you don't like to go anywhere else. You can get all the knowledge you need for free now. I mean, the internet, what a lot of us have been getting is, like, Odin showed me a library. A huge, beautiful library. Stocked up to the shelves. Very opulent. Nobody there. Nobody to give out the information and no patrons to read it. So, please, please, avail yourself of all the free knowledge. You can give yourself college education right on YouTube. So, <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to Everyday Witch... <laughs> God, you really are an Odin's person back here. Thank you, dear. Um, so you've got the devil on top. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you this. And the devil is there. It kind of looks like Loki or Odin, to be perfectly honest. But Loki or Odin, like, hey, buddies, I got your back. Um, so since I truly believe you should take the interpretation you want or need from this. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's a devil tempting the poor, poor innocent children. Think of it. The, this guy has their back. He is literally behind them. He's giving one person money and he's giving one person food in the form of a sweet treat. And they look like, I don't know, but their familiars are with them and their familiars look fine. Their familiars are like flying at the devil's face or anything. That is definitely Loki or Odin. I mean, look at that. That is definitely Loki or Odin and giving them like, here, I got your back, you know, kind of that trickster energy. So you might be running with the tricksters. So you might be running with a trickster god right now. 
that's giving you money or giving you food or you got some familiars or you feel like you're out in the wilds right now, that unfortunately is true for a lot of people. They got your back. The gods got your back. That is what I am getting off of this this week. I got very good down one. Okay. Um, am I getting one or two here, dear? I, got, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So the tower. The tower. All right. The tower. And, and I love this more than any other tower card because look at her face. Ooh, girl is doing it for herself. She did that. She did that. She destroyed that tower. Tower moment is when everything in our life has to come down bloof and we have to rebuild. But do you know what? That is the awesome sauce moment in your life. It's the gods saying, okay, all this crap you built is lovely, but it's got to go. And they, they take it all and they go bloop. And you rebuild stronger. She looks triumphant because in this case, our little witchy lady here has realized my tower is crappy. I have to knock this crap over before the gods do it. So she knocked her own tower down. And you can do that. You can have agency in your own life and go, you know what? This relationship, this job, this lifestyle is not working. I have to change. You can do that. You can change on your own before everything falls down around you. Um, obviously do your research, make sure you look before you leap, but you know, tower moment is coming to us all, my dears. I, I'm just kidding that. You look around the world today, it's like, okay, stuff is going to change. We know it is. It's fine. You know, try as much as you can to be the agent of your own change and not get caught up in tides. I'm getting back there. Bottom is temperance. So she's doing the tree which I can't do without a wall because I have vertigo. And <laughs> like you needed to know that. Um, pause it if you need to. My central tremors are acting up. Sorry about that, guys. Not really. I, they've told me not to apologize. But she has the balance going on. Her little familiar is back there playing with stuff or washing her paw, but she's knocked something over. But, you know, have have that balance, have that calmness in the center of a storm. Um, I just fell down the prepper rabbit hole on YouTube. And, you know, there are the ones that are calm, that are fine, that are like, yeah, stock up, but eat out of your stock. And then there are the people that tomorrow the zombies are arriving and the reptile people are here. So, you know, try to find your balance in the midst of all this stuff going on and all those Facebook posts you're seeing and everything else. Find your balance. Find your balance. Even if you believe that it's here, the stuff has hit the fan, find your balance. Find your balance. Be calm. Um, I just, it popped right into my head. You remember the Jin movie? Not the cute kind, the scary kind? Yeah. What way, spoiler alert, did she win? She found her balance. She found her balance. So find your balance, even in the most stressful times. And we got our Crystal Angels here for our last deck. I got Crystal Valkyrie back here. Okay, so this is the Crystal Valkyrie deck, just so you know. They look like angels, but they're Valkyries. So it will kick your butt. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, you got Tiger's Eye on the top. Self-confidence through God confidence. Say Odin or Loki confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in the gods working through you. So the gods will work through you. They will. They will. The gods will work for you. We don't have to front. We don't have to big ourselves up. The gods will work through you. Just do what you do naturally. Share what you got to share. And the gods will work through you. You don't know what tiny thought or tiny tidbit of information or poem or drawing or whatever you got going on. That, you know, that is really what someone else needs to hear. And you might think, oh, they know all this stuff. You would be surprised how much of us, how many of us think we know stuff and we've forgotten half of it. And we just don't realize it because we keep going back to the, like, at surface level stuff. I go, mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it truly be willing to share and let the gods act through you. Bottom of the deck is... Rotocryocyte. I think that's how you pronounce this. Um, be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need a lot of time to heal and recover. A lot of us are going through pretty tough times. Be gentle with yourself. I mean it, guys. Be gentle with yourself. Um, you don't have to baby yourself. Don't have to cuddle yourself unless you need that right now. But be gentle with yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. 
we've all been dealt really hard uh, hand of cards lately, and you're doing what you can do. Be gentle with yourself. I know it's frustrating, especially if you come on YouTube or you go on Instagram and everything, and it seems like everybody but you is rich and successful and has got the family, got the car, got everything going on. They're fronting, most of them. They're pretending. Their life is crap. They're just putting up the best of the best. They're making stuff up and putting it on Facebook. Trust me, they are. Everybody else doesn't have this great life, and you have, you know, you have this crummy life. That's why I keep it real with you guys. When I'm having a disaster with the gods, I let you know. When it's going great, I let you know. So, it's okay. It's, I mean, it sucks that it's as hard as it is now for a lot of us, but it's going to be okay, you know. It's dark, it's before the dawn, right? So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.